StockLegends.com. Today we're going to look at ICNM Icon Media Holdings for November 16th, 2011. This is a six month chart going back to the beginning of June. And we can see that uh, we had some volatility up here, resistance up at 16 cents, and we built up some support at 3 cents. You can see we've tested it recently once in August and once near the end of September. You can see that volume is fairly um, impulsive. We've got some days without even any shares traded uh, back in this particular period. And we were spending some time along support. After we touched the support level a second time, we well, noticed we had some nice volume come in and it sent the price up to 10 cents where we built up some intermediary resistance. So basically what we're looking at this current uh, period of time is resistance at, four, at around 10 cents and some support here right around 3 cents. Now what we are looking at is a pattern beginning to form. This is what we call a pennant pattern. As you can see that what happens is the volume picks up and the volatility starts to get quite intense. Uh, you can see that we've got some days of trading here where uh, very large price moves in any particular day and this is on relatively light volume. Now what happens is as the volume starts to de decrease the volatility starts to get more tight and we can start to see a pattern begin to form and this is what we call a pennant pattern and this is neither bullish nor bearish looking at the pattern itself but what we can see is that um, as volume increases as the volatility gets tight that generally suggests the stock price is getting ready to run and if volume were to be decreasing as the pennant gets quite tight and these this downtrending support and the rising or sorry the downtrending resistance and the rising support meet into each other we're going to either break out or break down so what we want to look to from here is basically let's go to volume and we can see that over the last five trading days you can see volume is really starting to pick up as the volatility starts to get really tight that means the interest is starting to come back in the stock and we can really start to see a price move uh, let's take a look at some of the other indicators we've got um, this is the money flow index and we can use this to sort of gauge whether money is falling into a stock or, or rising into a stock or coming into a stock and you can also use it to sort of give um, overbought and oversold signals. You can see that at the peak here when money flow was up in the green, this is pretty much a general high point. And you can see back here when we were trading around three cents, you can see the money flow had bottomed off um, to below 20 here on the RSI. And we're currently here below 20 again, starting to reverse back up. So this is a very positive sign. You can see that money flow was slowing down on the stock here during our consolidation pattern. So this is basically from the peak of our price, which is the money flow up here, we had a lot of money flowing into the stock and the money flow started to decrease. As you can see, the volume started to taper off and the price started to fall back down. And now as we're starting to see volume come back in, money flow is starting to reverse and starting to pick up that upward trend. So you can see money flow is starting to make a positive move here. This could be a very bullish sign. We also have the accumulation has been long trending upwards, it means that we've seen general interest starting to pick up in the overall stock and we can generally see that with a few general large volume spikes over the past month. So if we do get a breakout, which I believe we will, as we are starting to see a lot of volume come back into the stock, what we want to see to confirm the breakout is a move past the resistance line, which is about nine cents. Currently closed around seven. Doesn't give it gives a little bit of room to move to the upside before we start to encounter our first resistance point. And we do break past that resistance. Our next resistance is between the 10 to 11 cent area where we previously had a high point. Volume remains strong, we can break past this resistance and we should easily see us testing our recent highs around 16. Again, that will be the next resistance point. If we can break that level, stock can continue on to run from there. Um, also looking at the RSI, which also gives us those overbought and oversold signals. What we can see on the RSI is generally we're getting overbought here on the RSI around over 70. And this was when the stock was running up and uh, basically peak plateaued from its run. And on the way back down, we're seeing any RSI here typically around 30 to 40 as being oversold. Some examples in the past are right here where we tested 3 cents and right here as well where we tested 3 cents. We had RSIs in the 30. 30s currently it's sitting at 43 so generally it looks like around 60 is our average mean and certainly at 43 it's certainly looking like it's on the oversold side don't forget to stop by stocklegends.com to check out our new investment research report i suggest everyone give it a nice read so you can firmly get a great grasp on the fundamentals of this company thanks very much for watching until next time